all right so i already loaded the block up for cleaning and and i'm all the, the parts necessary to close up the block got my uh, balancing shafts here my oil pump and my water pump and also the side panels clean that up with my trusty purple blaster all right so finish cleaning up the block and also the parts uh, for that um, I am going to uh, hone hone the cylinders now so to hone the block I'm just going to be using this uh, bottle and uh, sandpaper, very fine sandpaper. Just roll it up like this and just um, shove it in and just keep going like that till it's smooth. Just got done holding the cylinder and you can tell that it's pretty pretty smooth so um, the the previous owner already honed the cylinder so I just needed to clean up a bit um, uh, so now I'm just gonna put the balancing shaft and uh, just put a little oil on those so I can put it in the balancing shaft inside here, so here and here and put the crankshaft on and close it up with the panel, with the side panel Alright, so I bought King bearings. I heard they're, I heard heard they're supposed to be very good. Um, so these are the main bearings, and these are the rod bearings. Um, so uh, the main bearings they have a little groove, a little gutter inside them, and the rod bearings are pretty much straight, uh, flat. So they don't they don't have a groove. They don't have a gutter. So. So right there, you can see the difference. These are the main bearings, these are the rod bearings. Um, so I'm just gonna put these on. The main bearings, they they go over here, where the, the, where the crankshaft is supposed to go. So I'm just gonna apply oil and put those on so I can put on the, the crankshaft so I can tie the side panel on. The Whoops. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, so I got the crankshaft on and just gonna take the side panel. And um, how the hell is this supposed to go? Let's see. Ah, yes. So, all right. Um, Today I will be gapping the piston rings and as we can see here um, the rings do not fit in my cylinder so I am going to uh, cut a little piece there I will gap it um, and I will gap them per cylinder so what I did was I put tape uh, on the ring and that is to know exactly how far I need to cut it so that is exactly uh, 5.6 millimeters and that is the amount I need to cut for the top ring so I will be cutting that out So I already got the piston rings and I already put them on the pistons and uh, I uh, kind of took the liberty of putting one uh, on in the cylinder. Uh, it's getting pretty late so I won't be filming 
um, but I guess tomorrow I think tomorrow I will be put the rest and hopefully tomorrow I can um, close up the engine uh, but yes today for today I already have one inside and it's pretty it's pretty tight so um, that that is that is very good um, also I did it with the, the ring compressor it's uh, but I will show you guys tomorrow about that how to use that